While the blue light ring is the most common light you'll see on your Echo speaker, there are times when it just won't work properly. In today's video, I'll walk through the five variations of the blue ring that you'll see, along with eight ways to troubleshoot it if it just won't go away. If your problem relates to the blue light ring not coming on in response to you saying the wake word, then check out our guide linked in the description below, as that's a slightly different scenario. Hi, Daniel here from Smart Home Perfected. Before we begin, I just want to say that if you find this video helpful, it'd be great if you gave it a thumbs up below and consider subscribing for more smart home content. Your engagement helps us grow our channel so we can make more videos like this. Also, please leave a comment below to share what worked for you and what didn't, which might be a help to other viewers. So, onto the five variations of blue light ring on an Echo speaker. The first three of these all happen in sequence as you give a voice command to Alexa. A solid blue ring with a smaller static cyan light color means Alexa is awaiting your request. A quick flash of the cyan at blue light means Alexa has just heard your request and is processing it. And then a pulsing cyan at blue light ring shows when Alexa is speaking. Outside of voice commands, a rotating cyan at blue light means Alexa is booting up or is installing a firmware update. This is the one that can sometimes glitch, and that's what we're talking about today. Also, a rotating blue light ring without cyan means Alexa is in Bluetooth pairing mode. Next up, eight ways to troubleshoot the Alexa blue ring if it just won't go off. Firstly, Echo speakers contain omnidirectional microphones to pick up voice commands. From time to time, your Echo speaker might pick up background noise from appliances or TVs, from family members chatting in another room, or from activity outside. In these cases, your Echo speaker misinterprets this noise from its surroundings as voice commands, and in turn, it cycles through those three variations of the blue ring that I, I talked about. If you haven't made a request to your Echo device, you can simply wait for it to go off or say, stop. In this instance, the blue light ring will disappear immediately. If this keeps happening, then unfortunately the solution is either to move the speaker to a room with less background noise or just simply to live with it. You can view a list of these misfires in the Alexa app by going to more and then scrolling down to activity, hitting voice history, and then you'll see these kind of displaying filters. So I'll just display all history and then it'll load up all the records. And then you can see tags as to how Alexa has processed the information. So audio could not be understood here. Audio was not intended for Alexa. On each particular one, you can open it up and then you can press play to, to hear the recording and there's the option to delete recordings as well. So you can see examples of where Alexa is recording audio, but it actually wasn't meant for it at all. This can result in the blue light ring coming on. The second reason, if you've just powered on your Echo speaker, you'll see the rotating cyan on blue light appear at the top or at the bottom of fourth and fifth gen devices. Every now and then, Echo speakers will install firmware updates to keep their software up to date. During this process, the blue light ring can also be seen and it's usual for your Echo speaker to restart on its own if such an update has taken place. If you see the pulsing blue light for a long uninterrupted period of time, then you may need to restart the Echo speaker manually. This can happen if there's an issue with the firmware update. I generally restart my Echo device by plugging it out of the outlet, leaving it unplugged for 30 to 60 seconds and then plugging it back in again. Once it fully boots up, hopefully the blue light should disappear. Third tip. If power cycling your Echo speaker doesn't work, it can sometimes be worth restoring the Echo speaker to its factory default settings. This clears out any configuration within the device and can solve any corruption issues related to a firmware update. So for this, you press the action button for 30 seconds and after it boots back up, you follow the instructions in the Alexa app to install the speaker again. You need to connect the device again to Wi-Fi as part of this installation process. So onto the fourth reason you might have a blue light ring that just won't go away. Echo speakers can be connected to Bluetooth devices to either act as an external speaker or to push audio to an external speaker. This is configured by pairing a new device in the Alexa app. When searching for a device to pair with, the Echo speaker displays a rotating blue ring, which unlike all the other variations, doesn't have a cyan color. So you can see an example here where the Echo Dot has a spinning blue ring without a cyan color. So this indicates that it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. So if it's stuck in this mode, you'll need to go to your Amazon Alexa app. It hasn't happened here, but essentially you need to go into devices, Go to the speaker, so Echo on Alexa, and then into this Echo Dot, and then you will find this Bluetooth connections connected device. So if you're if the blue ring is constantly spinning, and um, just click connected device, and um, you'll see it's spinning now. And by pressing X, it should properly close out of that Bluetooth pairing um, state, um, and the blue ring stops. Fifth reason. Why that hasn't happened personally to me, I've seen scenarios online where people have encountered a solid blue light ring because their device is not getting enough power. This usually happens where an underpowered third-party power supply has been used as opposed to the one provided out of the box. Or an underpowered USB cable has been used for the older generation Echo devices. The smaller Echo Dot speakers generally require 15 watts, while the larger Echo speakers need 30 watts. Echo speakers should always be powered from a mains electrical outlet, and as I mentioned, not a USB port on another device. 
If you're not using the original power supply, then I recommend replacing what you have with an official one as that will definitely have the correct voltage and amperage and that has solved it for a lot of people. Sixth reason is follow-up mode. Alexa has an optional feature where you can continue asking her questions without prefacing each question with the wake word. This is called the follow-up mode and it's switched off by default. When enabled, after Alexa answers a question you ask, she keeps listening and leaves the blue and cyan light on for a few seconds. Now generally it is only a few seconds, so it shouldn't be on permanently, but possibly this is enabled for you and by disabling it, it might solve your problem. You can enable and disable follow-up mode by going to devices and clicking on Echo and Alexa to choose your speaker. And then from there you click settings, scroll down to follow-up mode. You can see it's currently enabled. So then just hit the toggle to disable it. And that way Alexa will quickly turn off the blue light after she's finished answering your question. Next reason, maybe it's not a blue light, maybe it's a purple light. It can often be mistaken in different lighting conditions. So if your echo speaker is showing a purple light, this signifies do not disturb mode is enabled, or it signifies there's a Wi-Fi problem with the speaker. So check out our purple light ring video here for that. While the blue ring can sometimes be mistaken for a purple ring, the cyan color can sometimes be mistaken for a white ring. The white ring signifies guard mode is enabled. If none of the previous tips have worked, try saying disable guard mode just in case it's configured. More information on that Alexa white ring is available in our video here. I hope this video helps in explaining the various functions that the blue light ring represents along with giving you some ideas on how to fix it if it's causing you difficulties. If you found this video helpful, I'd much appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up below and consider subscribing for more smart home content. As I mentioned, your engagement helps with YouTube's algorithm to help us grow our channel and reach more people. If I've missed anything, please leave a comment below. Let us know your experience, which might help other viewers who are trying to solve the same problem. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.